Hey everyone, my name is Steve. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to go through five things you might go looking for on a 992 Carrera. So the first thing you might go looking for is the key. Now, if you're trying to get into your car without using the key fob, say the battery's died, there's also the key that will pop out of the back of the fob. Now, the key itself has a pull-out part on the back, which has actually got your key in to be able to unlock your door. And there's one lock on the car, and it's underneath the driver's door handle, and I'm gonna show that to you now. So you can see with the car lock, the door handle is flush and it's down. If we go to try and lift it up, we can pull it to two clicks, and the door stays locked. Now, underneath the actual handle is the locking mechanism, if we can see it. There we go, there's the locking mechanism there. Now, with your key, you actually have on the back here a bit that slides out. Now, I've unlocked it already so that I can get it out because it's very, very, very tight. So, if you need to get it out yourself, be careful, but it is a push fit and it just comes out the back of there like that. Now this is not very easy to do and there's actually a Porsche video on the Porsche Connect part of the driver manuals that shows it's much better in a 3D and I'm going to cut to that now and show you exactly how to get into the car. So that's how you'll get into the car if your key fob's died and you need to get in there using the normal key. Second thing you might go looking for in your Porsche 992 is the socket for your alloy wheel locking nuts. Now they're located in the front or the fruit and this is where it is on the car. So if we open the front, it is actually located behind this plastic panel here. For anybody that's interested, that's your hazard triangle. So all you do is you pull this off it just clicks in slides out like that now in my car for some reason I have a full tire sealant now I'm not sure if that was supposed to be used by the dealer when they got it or whether uh, that's for me to use later if anybody knows please comment in the section I've still got it and I've never used it yet but there we go lock and wheel nut sits in that little hole there you also have your tow bar hook and a spanner. Put it back, there's two hooks on the bottom. Clicks in, clicks back. The third thing you might go looking for on your Porsche is the power socket. Because they've removed those now from most of the cars, you'll actually find it in a slightly different location. Now on my car, it's in the passenger footwell. So underneath here you've got that power point plug and it's just a spring loaded thing. There you go. I have a plug in hoover that I keep in the boot for in here so that I can keep the car clean. That is where you would plug it in. The fourth thing that you might go looking for on your Porsche is the buttons for both the spoiler and the auto start stop. So I've turned on the electrics and I've got the PCM working. The start stop button and the spoiler button are both in the car section of the PCM, which I'll show you now. There we go. So they're both at the bottom of the screen and they're accessed under the car tab. If we go back to the home screen, you can see there that I've got the start stop button on the main menu. Now, if we go into this menu here where it says configure home, you can change this screen to different layouts. Now within them layouts, you can drag and drop as many things as you want. But if we go back to the layout that I was using, you'll be able to see there in the middle I've got the start stop button there with a red line underneath it. What you can do once, if the car's turned on and the spoiler button's available, you can switch this to just the spoiler. You click confirm, it'll then change it to the spoiler button. Just depends which button that you want. You either want the auto start stop on your home screen or you can have the spoiler. I prefer to have the auto start stop because it drives me crackers, but other people may not. So that's the fourth thing. 
The fifth thing that you might go looking for on your Porsche is a way to get your stereo working with your iPod or your iPhone to get music out of it instead of just the radio. You go to the media section of the PCM and there's a little drop down menu button at the top that will give you all the options available. Here in media you can see at the top there it says DAB and FM. If we click on that it will give you a drop down. So here in the middle we've got the armrest, the button is on the side, you press it and push it up. In the back there we've got two USB ports a SIM card port and an SD port for you to put a memory card in. I've currently got a USB to lightning cable adapter in there because I plugged my iPhone in. So with the iPhone plugged in, we've then got access to the iPod that turns up and turns itself on there. So there you go, there's five things you might go looking for on a Porsche 992. If you enjoyed today's video if you could give it a quick like that would be much appreciated if you want to see more about the car please hit that subscribe button and i'll see you again in another video thank you very much bye